Well, the Christmas games are fast upon us then. Ryan's with us just to have a little look at the two games against Worcester. Going into them, lads in good form and enjoying their football at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the Darlington win was a you know a big one for us, and we're very confident. We're believing in what we play, so hopefully we can continue that and get the you know get the three points on Monday. Is it? <laughs> it was always going to be a different kind of win if we were going to get that one against Darlington. The lads show they've got another side to their game, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. I think that we've got to you know show that kind of you know enthusiastic kind of play to 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 battle with the teams and stuff. So we've got to show that one as well as play football, nice, pretty football as well. It must be really encouraging for the squad to know that they've got that in the locker as well because it's such a young group relatively and still so new together that half a season it's great to have that developing both sides of their game really. Yeah it's good obviously a lot of teams in this league you know do play that kind of style of football and we've got to sometimes match that but our you know class and we'll show at the end of the day which is good so it's just learning for all of us you know manager everyone so it's good. And do they enjoy it in equal measure as well in that there are plenty of tackles flying around, a few people putting their heads on the line, plenty of dirty shorts. So the lads enjoy that as much as being able to get the ball down and, and play it. Looks like we, good fun. Yeah, I think we are starting to do that now. Obviously, we've we've learned that we've got to do that to teams, and yeah, we are enjoying that. Obviously, to get them three points on Saturday was you know really big for us, and still second in the league and pushing on. And the patience was important as well because you, you might have thought on another day that that goal wasn't going to come, but the lads stayed true to their to their game, didn't they? Yeah, I think we've got a lot of games has been like that. We've got to be patient with the ball, move the team side to side. So I think that's key in our kind of game, and we've just got to be, you know, like we said, patient and hopefully take our chances. Christmas is coming then. It's two games against Worcester. I'm sure the two games that Kidderminster fans have been looking forward to the most. You've got to love a derby game, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the you know the tickets. Say what it's going to be, so it's hopefully it'll be a, a lively game. Hopefully, we'll go there and take the three points and a good performance as well. We talked about needing to do both sides of the game, that'll be apparent against Worcester as well. Capable of playing good football, but as in any derby game, you're going to have to stick your head on the line as well. Yeah, definitely. But we've shown that we can do both, you know, so it's important for us to go there with a level head and hopefully, you know, take the three points and come away with it. Whatever level of the game you play at and whichever club you play for, there's there's always a derby game somewhere at whatever level. So what sort of ingredients come into a derby game that you perhaps might not get on a Tuesday night when you're playing 300 miles away somewhere? Well, it's just part and parcel of the fans, you know, it means a lot to the fans and it's got to mean a lot to the players as well. So hopefully we can, you know, take that into the into the game and, you know, secure the points. And six big points to play for as well. Yeah, definitely. Obviously that will be good. Fowl is still, you know, a few points ahead of us. So we've just got to keep playing our game and hopefully we can build on that. It might not sound like it, but there is actually very little attention being paid to the league table here, really, and you know people aren't glued to it after every final whistle inside the club. It's just important to keep our heads down and keep on picking up points, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the best way. We've got to focus on ourselves and you know and what we do. And the gap, obviously, is you know there's six or seven points there. But if you look at lower lower down in the table, it's it's very close in the top ten. So it could go either way. So we've just got to you know focus on us and hopefully keep moving up. How are you enjoying your time at the moment? I had a couple of a couple of games out first through suspension and, and yeah. then through some very happy <laughs> personal reasons. But are you, are you feeling good at the moment? Yeah, really good. Obviously, enjoying my football. You know, hopefully that can show in the in the games. You know, I'm loving it at the moment. So hopefully it'll carry on. There's a mini Crowsdale, of course. It, it, it's, <laughs> you're sort of getting a lot of sleep at the moment. Yeah, not too much at the moment. But yeah, he's he's all right. I'm loving it every minute. It's amazing.